This is just another quick, helpful video. This video is gonna be how to re-clock an alternator. What we mean by clocking is when you're looking at an alternator from the rear, here's your mounting locations, what clocking location that regulator outlet is. So basically, we're gonna teach you how to turn an alternator. First, obviously, you have to remove the cover. There will be three eight millimeter nuts holding it in place. You can remove it with your hands or pry it with a screwdriver. Just be careful if you do pry it with a screwdriver or even your hands. These are plastic and relatively easy to break. First step you're gonna to wanna to do after you remove the cover is to remove the brush holder. That'll be held on with either T20 or Phillips head screws. You can do this by hand with a screwdriver or a T handle T handle driver necessarily need to use an impact. Depending on the alternator that you have here, you'll either have Allen's or uh, sometimes sockets or in some even Phillips or Torx screws that actually hold the uh, through bolts in place. This particular unit is uh, Allen, so Allen heads. We'll remove this. Slide your screws out. Put them somewhere where we won't lose them. It's kind of important. <clears throat> the next step, depending on how old the unit is, this is obviously a used unit that's definitely seen some age. It's not going to just slide apart like a new unit would. Um, you're going to want to take a RAS, oh, I'm sorry, a PRAS or a rubber mallet. They make plastic ones as well that are okay for this as well. You're just going to want to kind of tap the case. Not necessarily hard. You don't want to damage anything. At the mounting points where it will actually mount to the car. And again, gentle taps is important here. You don't necessarily want to uh, beat the brakes off of it. Now you can see that the cases come apart and it can spin now. So in this case, we're gonna clock this to the right, just to the right of where it was before. When you put the alternator back together, um, you're going to wanna, you don't wanna press on this. This is actually held up by uh, just, there's an air bridge here and plastic. Which if you just push on this, you can actually damage that. What I will generally do is just grab it from the sides and give it a little bit of a push. And that's if I don't have a press handy. I'm not gonna use the press in this video just because I understand that most people don't own an arbor press. After you've slid it into place, we'll put your through bolts back through. Uh, one step I didn't get on the video is that you're going to wanna put uh, blue Loctite back on these screws before you put them back in place. So a medium duty removable Loctite the red locker I guess it would be the term there. We'll put these back here. Pretty similar to putting on lug nuts on a four lug pattern where you're just going to want to go across from each other and you're going to I usually will take my fingers and just kind of give the through bolts a press to make sure that everything's okay there. Make sure you spin it and by hand, just to make sure that there aren't any, it's not cocked or locked in a certain direction. When you reinstall the brush holder, it's best to have a paper clip. I take paper clips and, and cut them and straighten them. And then uh, you'll see a hole here and you'll see your brushes are out here. Stick your finger in or a screwdriver if you don't wanna get your fingers dirty and slide that in through. You'll see another hole on the other side and that'll hold your, your brushes back. That way you don't have to worry about them breaking when you reinstall the brush holder. From there, you slide the brush holder on. Make sure it's on pretty square. If you see, the brush holder will actually have a lip on it and that lip actually seats the brush holder against the aluminum casing here. And then from there, what you're going to do is just reinstall your screws. 
And again, you don't have to use an impact for any of this. You can use T handlebars, screwdrivers, Allen wrenches, torx bits, torque wrenches, etc. If you're looking for a specific torque spec for your through bolts, it is between uh, 18 and 22 foot pounds. Nothing and nothing crazy. I actually have a uh, torque limiting bar on my impact, which kind of makes this a little bit easier, but we do production stuff here. So that makes sense for me to have. Um, you Realistically, it's about a three quarter turn past tight is, is about how tight you need to make this. It does not need to be exactly like a very specific science for this part. And you obviously don't forget to remove your brush pin, reinstall your cover, and put your nuts back on, and you're good to go. Any questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to help.